Well, take a look at this rather conspicuous mound of dirt on San Francisco Canyon, well north of Castaic. You wouldn't know by looking at it, but this is the site of one of the worst the civil engineering disasters in modern American history. This is where the old St. Francis Dam once stood. It only stood for about two years. Collapsed in exactly two years to the day, March 12, 1928, and killing as many as 450 people, according to scvhistory.com. It's, it's not known how many victims were washed out to sea or pulverized by a wall of water 140 feet deep. So this was built to secure more drinking water for Los Angeles, which was rapidly expanding in the early 20th century. William Mulholland had just finished the California Aqueduct and was looking especially for uh, a drought reservoir. And so they chose this site because it was a lot cheaper than to build it here in Big Tahunga, which is where Mulholland re actually really wanted to uh, build uh, a dam. There were reservations about this site even before it was built, and it suffered what is believed to have been a catastrophic a failure of the foundation. It may have also had something to do with a landslide here on the eastern side of the dam. But what is known for sure is that 15 billion plus gallons of drinking water rushed down San Francisco Canyon and into the Santa Clara River, taking out everything uh, in its path. There were folks that had homes built right up uh, along the riverbanks of the river and the water made it all the way to the Pacific Ocean. And according to the Santa Clara Valley Historic Society, did serious damage to Castaic Junction, which was basically completely washed away. Santa Paula, Fillmore, there were power outages from Ventura to Long Beach because of this. And it also created serious reservations for uh, building the Hoover Dam after the collapse of this dam. You can come to this area, you can still see some of the history. Here's some of the original concrete that sits here from the uh, dam collapse of St. Francis. Big thanks to Richard Candip for telling me to check out this sad but very important piece of LA County history. Taking a look at this from Sky 9, I'm Desmond Shaw.